Welcome to the Healthy Kids Minute. Carbon monoxide is a, it's a colorless, odorless, tasteless gas that's, um, that's present everywhere in small amounts. It becomes dangerous in higher levels. Dr. Robert Knoll is the Director of Pediatric Medicine and Emergency Care at Crozier Chester Medical Center. He explains that when we breathe in carbon monoxide, it interferes with the protein in the blood which is responsible for oxygenating all the cells in the human body. Hemoglobin carries oxygen out to the tissues and provides that important nutrient to, uh, to our bodies. Carbon monoxide is a similar enough chemical to oxygen that it is also carried by hemoglobin and in fact hemoglobin much prefers to carry carbon monoxide so it'll carry it at a two to three hundred times uh, higher rate. That leaves little room for oxygen which our bodies need in sufficient amounts to function properly. Around 20 percent is considered mild carbon monoxide poisoning and that's where we would have the onset of headaches, some, uh, loss of uh, loss of our ability to think clearly and process and, uh, and we may even be noticing some drowsiness at that stage. Uh, beyond about 60 percent the likelihood of coma, neurologic and cardiac failure and even probable death becomes uh, imminent. Dr. Knoll says carbon monoxide poisoning can happen at any time throughout the year but that instances spike during wintertime. It's often an instance where people are using supplementary heaters, kerosene heaters, um, coal stoves, wood stoves, and there may be improper ventilation or, uh, or an incomplete combustion that's allowing for that carbon monoxide to be released out into the air. Another major source of carbon monoxide is vehicle exhaust, which is why Dr. Knoll advises moving a car outside of the garage before running it to warm up. There are lots of recorded instances of windows being opened, garage doors being opened, and still people being overcome by carbon monoxide poisoning. Um, the ventilation just isn't great enough, so, um, so exhaust fumes in an enclosed space can still, be a, can still be a problem. Since early symptoms can be subtle and at times go unnoticed in children, it's a good idea to pick up a carbon monoxide detector for your home if there isn't one there already. Carbon monoxide detectors have become available quite cheap. They can be battery powered, they can be plugged into the wall, and, um, and they can detect abnormal levels and, uh, and give someone a heads up that there's a, that there's a danger out there because, as I said, it's otherwise undetectable gas. This has been the Healthy Kids Minute. 